Hi and welcome to another video by Get It Done Home Repairs. Today we're going to talk about what do you do when you have a valve that won't shut off and you don't want to get in there and you don't want to heat up the solder joints to try to remove it. So today I'm going to show you how to install a valve that's just a compression coupling style valve. So uh, alright let me show you what we're going to use as far as tools and then we're going to get this job started and we'll get it done. And here's an example of what kind of tools you're going to need. We're going to need a cutter to cut the pipe. We're going to need the valves with the compression fitting on the end of it. And an assortment of different tools to, to get the new valve on and to hold the valve in place while we tighten it up. Alright, so uh, all right, let's get in there and let's get started. The first thing we're going to do before we start anything is we're going to make sure we go down to the wherever the water comes into the house and shut the main water supply off. Open the faucet and make sure that there's no water coming out before we try and do anything. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to put our line cutter around the copper pipe that we're going to cut. We're going to approximate where the valve is going to go in to replace the valve that will no longer shut off. And then we're going to put our cutter on there and we're going to slightly tighten it up. We're not going to go too tight because we don't want to crush the pipe and make it like oval shaped or anything like that. And then we just tighten it and rotate it and it'll slowly cut into the pipe. Remember it's better to cut a little bit at a time than to make a, a deep cut and wind up bending the pipe. So we just continue with the cutter and tightening it and rotating it each time around. And then you'll feel it start to cut in a little bit deeper Okay, once we get our, our first valve off, we're going to move over to the other side and we're going to do the exact same thing on the other side. You probably want to make sure you have a bucket down below just in case you get a couple of drops of water coming out of there. And then we're just going to continue to cut that line until we get the, uh, the other side disconnected too. And once we have it off, we're going to grab some, uh, some steel wool and we're going to clean up each one of the, uh, the copper pipes that we're going to put the new valve onto. You want to use a very fine steel wool and just clean it up really well. You want to make sure that the surface is nice and clean. There's no more oxidation on there whatsoever. Oxidation will cause the valve to leak a little bit. And once you're sure it's nice and clean, we're going to grab a rag and we're going to wipe off any of the, um, the particles from the steel wool that we, that we cleaned it with. We're going to put the nut down onto the existing pipe from the wall. We're going to put the ferrule over the top of it and make sure the ferrule slides all the way down. The valve then sits on top of that and you want to make sure that the valve is all the way uh, on down on top of that copper pipe. It has to be all the way in as far as it can go. And then we're going to turn the nut up by hand and we're going to locate the valve in the direction that we want it to be situated so that it's not going to interfere with anything else when we need to turn it off and on. Now that we're confident that the valve is in a good location, we can start to tighten it up. We're going to grab a wrench and we're going to hold the valve so that the valve itself doesn't rotate and then we're going to tighten up that coupling that's going to crush that ferrule up onto the copper pipe and it's going to also seat it up into the valve and it'll keep it from leaking. It's important that you hold the valve stationary with the wrench while you start to tighten up that the nut with the ferrule inside of it. And you're going to tighten this very, very tight because you need to crush down that brass or, or copper ferrule that's inside there so that we don't have any water leaking out. And you can see it's a tight squeeze, but if you take the wrench and tighten it as far as you can, and then you rotate the wrench, turn it around upside down, you'll be able to get a better grip on it and you'll be able to tighten it up that little bit more. 
now that that valve is clear and it doesn't interfere with the existing valve that we're no longer going to use we can go over and get our supply lines and reconnect the supply line right up into the valve itself and then that line will of course be connected up to whatever faucet was in the um, in the sink or wherever you're replacing the valve and once we're sure it's nice and tight we're going to go over to the other side we're going to do the exact same thing on the other um, the other pipe too make sure we clean all of the oxidation off very important is to get a rag and clean everything off of it as well again you put your nut over the top slide it down as far as it'll go put the ferrule over the top as well make sure it goes down all the way it can't be partially down it has to be all the way down so it slides down the pipe so that way we can slide the valve down until the top of the copper pipe bottoms out inside the new valve. You'll see how far down it slides. Okay. And now we'll just tighten up that valve and the, the nut on the valve. And again we'll turn the valve so that it's going to be in a location where we can easily turn it off and on as needed and it won't interfere with anything else. Okay. We're going to turn this nut and we're going to hold the valve with the wrench so it doesn't rotate set it to what location you'd like it to be in or need it to be in and then we'll get in here and turn the valve or hold the valve stationary while we turn the nut and screw the nut and ferrule all the way up into the bottom of the valve and that's it we put our supply lines back on. Now if you have a little bit of a leak coming out of these um, nut and ferrule area, then of course you can just get in there and tighten it up just a little bit tighter and it'll take care of the problem. That's it. This job is done and we're on to the next. In this particular case, with the valves behind, we're too close to the wall and we didn't want to cut the wall open, so we elected just to put in another valve in uh, upstream of where the, uh, the, the other valve was. Uh, there was a lot of um, solder around on there as well as some kind of a concrete type mixture too so that's what we were a little reluctant to replace that valve i didn't want to have to cut the wall open so that's what i elected to do to use a compression fitting style valve on the upstream portion above the other valve but that's it this job is done and we're on to the next all right as always thanks for watching and i'll see you guys on the next one